Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today, we're going to be installing these Diode Dynamics reverse lights um, and the, these HP5 LED bulbs for the interior. Currently, trust me, don't go cheap when you buy LEDs or any lights for that matter. You'll regret it. As you can see, this light is fully out. Look, look how easily it could just turn itself off. It's not bright at all. It doesn't bright anything up. And I'm gonna show you before and after once I install these. And I'll turn on the car and put in reverse so you can see the reverse light that the rear driver side uh, keeps flickering. For the reverse lights, it's gonna be a very simple install. What we're gonna have to do is just pop out these little clips that hold it with any uh, plastic removal tool or any flathead. When you pop that out, you're gonna be able to uh, remove the reverse light to install your new lights. This would be the same as if you were removing any stock lights or any aftermarket lights. Okay, just to show you, this is um, the part number of the reverse lights I have. These are the second level brightness I got, and that, that's the same as in the interior. The light one, it is cheaper, of course, but um, I, I want it to be able to be seen uh, from distance. And the last one is personally too bright. You don't want to blind anyone behind you. The same with the interior. You don't want it to be too bright. At least that's my personal preference. I know it's each their own. Alright, now it's very simple. You see right there is the, the LED itself. Put these in. I'm not sure if you can see the actual halo. These are supposed are designed to reflect and bounce off of the reflective housing that are inside here. These, I'm not even sure there wasn't very much detail. It was just besides changing the color from the OEM bulbs. But I'll turn on the car now to give you a quick Comparison. There's no doubt you can actually see much brighter light it might not seem like that as much now since we are in since there still is daylight but as you can tell it does reflect this one not so well it just has a a white light but besides that highly recommend it that exhaust though all right now for the interior um, dome light, I was told to just reach in from the rear and just pull down. Not gonna lie, I thought I was gonna break that. I guess that's just how it feels. I read that on the forums that typically it feels like it's about to break. We just have to keep slowly applying even pressure um, just to make sure. But, I mean, this is pretty solid plastic. As you can see, as you can see, it's held on by these um, clips. Last time, what I did was um, pull in, pull out these uh, panels and. Yeah, this is gonna be an Amazon bulb bulb I got on it was like 20 for $12 so I was trying to be cheap and it, all right 
as you can tell when you had when I was trying to access it from the inside I'm sure not being able to actually get access to it didn't help at all and as you saw how wobbly they were now I can make sure that I lock them into place and another thing when I was trying to get access through here I caught myself because there's a, a metal uh, reflector plate that's I believe it's for the halogen bulbs that usually get um hot to not burn through any of the plastics but these being LEDs they don't heat up so there's no need for that and I took that off but I caught myself and it, it took a lot longer just to be able to reach these bulbs and not even be able to properly install them so you see you just put them in about like three quarters and you twist them and they're nice and snug now I'm gonna turn on this see much brighter you're just gonna get a plastic removal tool and just be able to slide it in there and just like that, they pop right out. It's gonna have to. Oh. Right here. Get at the end. Push them out. Very easy installs, I, I gotta say. Um, I've heard of, like I know for the, oh, the surprise car, I will be showing you what car that is soon. Um, it's my new daily driver. I know that car is gonna be a lot harder to change the interior lights. I already looked on the forums. And look out for that video. It's a very nice car. Trust me, a big difference from this car. Remember, the this little indent has to be covered here. Next side is going to be the same exact. Okay, so this is Diodynamics versus Amazon Bolt. Put before and after. As you can tell, these are a lot brighter. You actually see everything.